The Kepler mission has been searching for exoplanets for two years. Recently, Kepler announced discoveries from the first four months of data, and this includes 1,200 planet candidates, more than tripling the number of known planets around other stars. Also, Kepler announced some very exciting planets. One of these planets is named Kepler-10b, and Kepler-10b orbits its star 20 times closer to its star than Mercury is to our sun. Kepler-10b is heated so much that the surface of the planet has melted rock, liquid lava lakes, just because it's so close to the star. That's one of the best planets found so far. The most fascinating planetary system that has ever been discovered is Kepler-11b. This planetary system has six transiting planets. All other systems only have between one and three. Exoplanets are planets that orbit stars other than the Sun. In our solar system, we have eight planets, as well as the dwarf planets, Kuiper Belt objects, and asteroid belt objects, and other things. But in our solar system, it's quite neatly separated. We have the four inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, the so-called terrestrial planets, and we have the four outer planets, the so-called giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. One of the most exciting findings of all the exoplanetary systems out there is that they're all mixed up. Some systems have a giant planet where Earth should be. Others have giant planets closer to their star than Mercury is to our sun. So an exoplanet's really any kind of planetary mass, planet star separation, eccentricity, semi-major axis, and other orbital parameters are possible. So the main difference is that there are no rules for where planets form and what their orbits are like. Kepler's main goal is to ascertain how common other Earths are. And Kepler will do this by finding a number of planets, Earth size, in Earth-like orbits, around Sun-like stars. So we want Kepler to reach its goal. Kepler's goal is to tell us how many stars like the Sun have planets same size as Earth. Kepler will not tell us if a planet has life or not. We're going to use the numbers, the frequency that Kepler finds, to make our next plan, our next space telescope, that will actually be able to find signs of life in atmospheres of other Earths.